Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. We are going to jump right into this reading today. Thank you so very much for the likes, the shares, the comments. I read each and every one. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your donations. A lot of you are hitting that little heart. That's what keeps me alive to do these. So thank you, thank you for all of that. I appreciate it so much more than you know. And let's get into this reading here. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for the day? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Woo! Oh my, oh my. We will take this. One of my favorite cards in this deck. Um, we have here the Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. <sighs> This is such a card of an abundance. This is, yes, it might as well be the magician in the tarot, right? But the Scarab Beal is known for abundance and luck. And so you are on the precipice of really realizing the magic within you that moves through you in order for you to, you know, move into a new era of your life, Taurus. I cannot express it enough. You all I might be tired of hearing it, but listen, we're going to hear about it for the next 20 years. Pluto has moved into Aquarius for the next 20 years. That is super beneficial for my Tauruses and my Pisces out there in a big, big way. Yes, this is a timeless reading. However, uh, because I am channeling this in April of 2024, I will say there is going to be a little dip where uh, Pluto goes back into Capricorn uh, towards the end of the year, September, October, November for a little bit. Prepare now for that, right? Prepare now. You get. I, I feel like you need to get your shit in order, okay, Taurus? The reason I say that is because you do have, at the bottom of the deck, you have the spider spirit, which I also love. Make your dreams real. This is you creating the web, okay? You are starting to create the web so that when the things and the opportunities that are coming towards you, they stick in the web, Okay. No matter what this is, I think your inspirations and your aspirations have gotten really, really high now. It, wanting more, knowing there's more to life than the day-to-day, -day, and you creating this new web of life, okay? This is very big. This is literally like I create, right? Magic works through me. The spider creates the web. You are creating this web to catch the things that you desire in life here. And you've got magic on your side. You've got luck on your side. You've got intelligence on your side. You've got emotional intelligence on your side. And you really are really stepping into <clears throat> things that you truly want. I think that your dreams are getting bigger. I think that you are letting go of the limit limited beliefs, limited, like I could only get this far in my company, I could only do this, right? We look at people that are big, famous, uh, successful in life, and we're like, oh, well, that's them. Now you're starting to realize that can be you, and you're not settling for the day-to-day -day anymore. You are going bigger, okay? I love this. I love all of this. Show me clearly, please, for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Finally taking control, changing things up in your physical environment, in your mental environment, in your emotional environment. Yeah, look at this. You cannot even make this up. What did I say? This might as well be the magician. Magician. Okay, you are seeing clearly now. Your intuition is on fire. You can see where you can literally create whatever you want. Okay, no, nobody's standing in your way anymore. And it's in not just this intense kind of energy, but this very relaxed energy of, I just know, right? I know you are going to see through things so clearly. It's going to be amazing for you. So what I mean that is I mean this on a really big level, Taurus, um, very, very matrix like 444 on the timer. Very matrix-like, meaning that you can see through the lies, the deception, the fear. You can see through it. 
right? You're like, no, that is not my reality. That is your reality because you believe what the news says, what the commercials say, what your parents said to you about life. And you're like, no, I can see right through all of this. I see where my happiness lies. I see where my abilities lie. I see where I can have bigger, better, monetarily, in love, you name it. You just, you see through all the lies. That, I mean, I'm really, I do mean that. Like you can see through it and that it gives you a special ability to make your dreams real. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Show me clearly. What is the message? That's too many. Can I just have one or two, please? And it's very relaxed though. It's not like, oh, these sons of bitches have been lying to me my whole life. You're like, okay, I get why. They're fear-mongering. I get why. They're trying to keep everybody down. I get why. I don't agree with it, but I get why. And now I can see through it, which lets me be able to be the creator of my own life. Show me clearly, please. Yeah, look at that. The star healing your belief system, having big wish fulfillment, right? But the wish fulfillment's coming from you because you can see clearly. You've saged through the energy, right? You've saged through. I see clearly. Um, look at that with the judgment. My God, the major arcana is here. Um, light bulb moments. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to do something more, something bigger for myself, which also will help humanity, which is Pluto and Aquarius is humanity, right? Doing things differently, having epiphanies. You are all on board with this energy now. All on board with it. You might shed the light for others just by living your life to the fullest here. Um, let's see what else we have. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? What is the message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Show me clearly. What is the message, please? Yep, there it is. Cool. I kept seeing it. I was waiting for it to come out. Look at you've got four out of the five cards that are major arcana right now. This is you relearning, right? This is a puppy or a wolf. I don't know what it is. But you are relearning how to live in this world and how to make it prosperous for you, enjoyable for you, right? Looking through the eyes of a child where anything and everything is possible along with the high priestess. I told you, no more secrets. They can't hide anything from you. Your intuition is on fire, going from your higher self, the moon in reverse. No more secrets. You are a human lie detector right now. And it's not because you're calling anybody out necessarily, but you do see the false narratives here. You do see that there are certain entities in this world that are trying to keep everybody down. But this also can go into not just your money and the, you know, lack. There is no lack. Like you're seeing that there's no lack. But this is also the partnerships that come in, friendships that come in, lovers that come in that you know are not in it equally, that you know are in it just for them. Or you can see, you can walk in somebody's shoes. That's not a bad thing either where you're like, oh, I get why this person is the way they are. That doesn't mean I'm going to fall for it and I'm going to go try to heal them when they're not, they haven't tried to heal themselves. So that could be in love. That can be in a lot of things. Like you just see things so damn clearly. It's, yeah, look at that. The queen, the, see the queen of swords. You can't make it up, right? You see things so damn clearly that you can't unsee it now which gives you the leg up, right? It gives you this awesome leg up into uh, what you can obtain. I mean, this is no joke here. When we have six, seven cards out, because I put this one down, that are major arcana, right? That is life-changing. That is not, you know, that is like big shift in energy here. Like a big shift, a big clarity. I, I am, you know, I wait for this for Taurus. I waited for it for myself. So I, I wait for this because there are just, it's like no, no more, no more. I can't believe in the lies anymore. It's amazing. Let's see what else we have. Show me clearly. Yeah. 
Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I think they want it. So yeah, uh, we have the month of September coming out. And what that tells me is exactly what I was saying. Uh, with Pluto going back into Capricorn, they're going to try to get you to go back to the old ways for a few months, right? The old belief systems, the old way of doing things. You're not falling for it. You're prepping now to say, no, no, no. I'm not going to fall for that. We are out of that part, right? Capricorn, uh, Pluto was in Capricorn for 15 years. It was a difficult 15 years for Taurus. Very difficult. Lots of lessons to learn. Lots of challenges, right? You're not going to fall for it again. This can be from the news. This could be the economy saying they're tanking. This could be an old lover coming back that wants to promise you all these great things. You are not falling for it anymore. Because look at this. Just like I said, the psychic ability, your intuition, you see things. The the queen of swords, you, you can see right through it. You can see right through it. You're not falling for it anymore. Let's see what else we have. I feel like they want at least one more. Let's see what we have. Show me clearly. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Look at that throne position of authority. You are on top now. You are on top now. You are on top. Offers are going to come in. Love offers, partnerships, business offers, work offers are going to come in. But the good news is you see through. You know what is a true offer and what is, I don't know. You know what a true offer is and you know the difference between someone truly offering you love, commitment, partnership, business, money, and the ones who are just like, because they're kind of showing me like an ex-lover coming back saying, no, I've changed, I promise. But they're also showing me like a Bernie uh, Madoff situation. Like, no, this can make you a lot of money, right? And you're like, I see right through all this bullshit. You become the leader here. And you become the one that people look up to for truth. <clears throat> Absolutely love this energy. So, Taurus, don't forget to comment, like, share. I read each all the comments. Uh, thank you for subscribing and growing this channel and all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.